And just to probably highlight the year that the Sydney Sixers have had. Healy comes hard and hits firmly out through mid-wickets for the opening boundary. That's a bit of what Cal Ferguson wanted. Nicely played. Shafali Verma, her first full-blooded shot through the offside for four. four. Speaking of powerful, like hammered away by Verma. She's got a start. Shafali shows that she can go aerial if she wants to. One bounce over the rope. Shafali Verma. Verma's lofted this down the ground as well and all the way for six. Verma and Catch. Healy who are just starting to get into their stride. That's a beautiful shot through the line of the ball. Watch out. Oh, Got dear. her first ball, Alana King. She dropped the catch. She said, give me that ball again. Trying to find a deft touch down to third. Not the right shot for that particular ball. Runs regularly. It's gone. And the left hand goes up and King gets a second wicket in the over. She's dismissed both openers. This is based on their form in the WBBL. Yeah, from what I've seen over the last sort of 12 to, 15 to 13, uh, 13 or 14 games. I think that's how it should be as well. I don't think it's... To play for your country is a massive honour and I think you need to earn it. Perhaps find ways to, to lift the rate. There's a way. Like <laughs> Walk and whack. There's another one for King. She's taken three for and Bolton, the latest victim for this star leg spinner. A bit too full. Um, and we've seen so far with her wickets, they've been the quicker ball. The coming weeks and months. We'll get, uh, we'll get something up on the screen for you, Al, to have a look at and debate. Stats don't lie. Horrible job. I think also I'm a bit of a people pleaser, so that doesn't really bode well with uh, making selections. Last four matches. Breeks has gone again straight, and she gets it over the rope. It's none for 46 at one point, and shot. that is a beautiful shot from Elise Perry. A long blow. That's Perry at her best. Series of the WBBL where she's made yep. big hundreds, yep. and she's back-ended her innings. Yeah, what's surprising, actually, the opportunity for Heather Graham to bowl this particular over. I would have thought Murazan cap. That's in the air. Has she got enough on it? No. And she's taken. Murazan cap takes the catch and says... Brown only got a look at one ball and unfortunately <laughs> couldn't okay, make contact. You. So the victory target will be 129 for the grand final bound Perth Scorchers. I would have liked to see some, you know, some maximums, but Elise Perry, 39 from 37. Shafali Verma I thought was pretty good for her, 27. And Ange Reeks, well, that was a nice little cameo at the end, but the pick of the, the stars for the show for Perth Scorchers. Yep, down, down, down. Divines away. Picking that gap through points. You'll have to ask Lisa, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're going all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Mooney coming down the pitch and lofting over mid on and down to the rope. Nicely clipped away again by Beth Mooney. So Cheadle's been really economical this season, but... It was a full toss that Devine was always going to cash in on. Full face of the bat down the ground. Over the top it goes. And caught! Oh, that is outstanding from Cheetal. Added to the list of exceptional catches we've seen in WBBL 07. Every run. That's a nice shot from Chloe Paparo. Just over. Paparo with a couple of boundaries now in the over. One for 44. It's a, a batter we're watching in supreme touch. Touch! Yeah! There's the wicket, Bolton. And it's Mooney. So both Divine and Mooney 
have been dismissed by the Sydney Sixers. Through the power play. Again, tacking the stumps. Nice return catch. Be a stark difference. What a shot from Chloe Paparo. Beautiful. Lofted shot. Nicely played by Graham. In the air. Safe. And four. Well, that gets through almost a, an element of confusion there. Hughes. Transfer. There's Heather Graham in on the act, Em. Oh! oh, she's working well behind the stumps here, but it deflects off the glove and down to the boundary. Catch it. Cracked away by Graham. Out through extra cover it goes. Oh, she goes again. Cracking blow from Graham. Help Gozzi out. That's the great thing about the cricket community. We tend to stick together. And another fumble, misfield. Just an outstanding knock from Chloe Paparo, her maiden half century in the WBBL. What a time to do it. Graham goes over the top and the winning runs come courtesy of a boundary. It is the year for Perth Grand Finals and the Scorchers, they're eyeing their first ever title in the WBBL. They get the advantage of going straight through to the Grand Final, which they will play at home.